Hi guys, Raving Lunatic here. Episode number 23 of our Let's Play series. Now, I know in the previous episode I did uh, ask for you guys to comment on uh, proposal packages or land packages numbered 1 through 3 for the future downtown construction. But I wanted to... Alright, there's a bug flying in my face. Ah, go away. Um, I wanted to uh, build a harbor. And I'm going to take episode number 23 and build the harbor. Episode 24 will be the downtown district. Now, I know I had originally earmarked this area here as Port Raving. But I'm going to show you something here. Take a look at this. That, that's gone. This is not going to be Port Raving. I think this is a little too boring. I, I thought about doing something over there, but that's going to be for a later expansion. I want to do a big residential thing on that side along with like a uh, beachfront property and stuff like that so I've decided that because this area can't really support a lot of traffic this would be not a good place to to park ships and stuff like that maybe a um, not a container port but like a like a cruise ship port but at the same time I thought about putting a cruise ship port over here as well that would feed directly into the resort zone uh, the resort zone by just hanging. And I think that would actually work out a lot better, but again, not a priority object or not a priority piece. What we're going to do is we're going to move Port Raving to this new location here. I did some research and on this map the, where is it? Is it the ship path? So the ship pathways, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a dotted line. I don't know why the yellow dotted line's not showing up, the, like, tr the traditional one. But I'll, I'm going I'm to I'm take this one here. So this one travels quite a ways inland. And I'm pretty sure that if we really wanted to, we could produce a second seaport area in here uh, amongst the fjords or something like that. I think that would look really, really good. But I think our first one is going to be right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus a lot on... I'm going to put in the, the buildings first. Uh, make sure everything it looks the way I want it to. And then I'm going to pretty it up a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn this. I'm going to square all of this up. And I'm going to edit it. Uh, do some editing. I'm going to put in some keys. Much like I did around the power plant and all that kind of stuff. And I know I haven't focused at all on the power plant uh, in last episodes, and I know that the uh, water treatment plant definitely needs some upgrades and some adjustments. Like I've been throwing extra things in just to fulfill demand. Um, so this is going to be the focus of a new of another episode, or at the very least, time lapse where I'm going to be doing some editing, doing some upgrading, and doing some fixing of that. So we'll leave that for now. But what we're going to do right away is we're going to dive into this. We're going to level this out to a acceptable uh, layer or an acceptable height limit, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to save the game right here, and we are going to fix the lighting. There we go. And then we're going to get back into it. So hang tight, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. We've, uh, as you guys can see, we've we've built a little bit of a peninsula here. I've got a, uh, I've built, I put in some keys that have like these really neat like tire walls and stuff like that. I f I figured it would look, you know, I would add a pretty neat industrial feel to the uh, to the area and all that kind of stuff. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to let the water 
settle a little bit and see if that causes any issues just like that <laughs> and while we're doing while it's going to do that i'm going to put in uh some of the harbor pieces here so i'm going to do i'm going to do a couple things so i'm going to do the i'm going to do the ferry and i think the ferry terminal thing like the 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 one to actually build the ferry is this the one no nope, that's not it where's the ferry terminal the ferry depot will probably go like right here I think that actually would be a really good spot for it, in my opinion. I think that should be the right, a good height for it too. Yeah, I think so. If not, then I'll, I'll lower it again. But I think that's going to be a good height. That way I can put in like a little fairy terminal thingamajigger, digger, thingamajigger here. And make that sit nicely. Uh, and then along here, I'm going to do a couple small seaports I think and then I'll do the bigger ones along this edge here yeah I think that's what's gonna I think that's what's gonna happen in fact I might save this one little spot right here for the um, for that industrial it's like a, a shipyard yeah I think that I don't have it right now uh, I don't know maybe I can actually find it let's try ship Yard, it won't let me put it in. Okay, well that's that's all right. A shipwreck, I could put in a shipwreck. That might be kind of fun to put to put that in somewhere. Anyway, okay. So what we'll do is we're gonna do we'll do the ferry depot. Do I need the ferry right now? Maybe not, eh? No, I don't need the ferry depot just yet. But we'll we'll earmark it for this location here. Okay. And then the other ideas are we're going to do the smaller seaport here. Uh, yeah, we're going to put it right on the end in hopes that we can uh, we can have the road turn along this way. And, and you know what? I think I'm going to do... Should I do two? Let's do one over here. Yeah. We're going to do one over here as well. And I think that'll be close enough for the ships to get to. Yes, I think so. So we're going to do that one there. And then we're going to do this bad boy here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do... We'll do... So, okay. So the rail is going to have to come out all over the water. Which I think is kind of weird that it does that. Uh, but you, you, you can't... You can't pick and choose right so you can't be too picky how about we put this guy here in hopes that we can connect the two I'm, I'm using my finger to draw the line I connect the road along the sea the sea wall here like that and then the other thing we're gonna do as well is we're gonna do oops, get out of here uh, we're gonna do where is it we're going to do a regular freight station and we're going to put this in the middle here somewhere, I think. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. I, I do want to have like the rail line come in and I'm going to, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it in here, but I need to lower this land as well from what I can see. Uh, and it looks like I need to lower all of these seaports a little bit. So we're going to get you to sit down a little bit more. I could have sworn I had the picket mod because I didn't want these two lane roads uh, or the, 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 like the two direction roads. I wanted one direction roads. I think I'm going to have to exit the game, find that picket tool wherever it went because I could swear I have it. Hang on. Let me check the options here. I'm going to be right back guys. Okay guys, I think we are back. I didn't have this. Apparently this had turned off on me and that's not cool. So what I want to do is I want to change this. So I think, I don't remember how this exactly works, but what I want to do is I want to introduce this. So I think, touch this tool. Uh, no, that's not it. 
Oh, it just unlocks it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is good, okay. Unlock that, unlock that, and unlock that. Perfect, okay. Now I know how it works, or I recall how it works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade this road. We're gonna upgrade all of these roads to these bad boys. There, so it's gonna come down, it's gonna loop around, and it's gonna head out. Uh, and what I'm gonna do, I think what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring uh, like a main artery road into the middle here. But I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. I think, close you, turn you off. There we go, thank you. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it come into the middle here with like a like a like a, a roundabout of some sort i think we're going to put the roundabout right in the middle here and then have the roads branch out like this and then have it come around and then connect up again this one will be like a big loopy loop a loopy loop a loop the loop thing or something i don't know let us let's connect the surface roads first and then we will see how the rest of it goes okay let's do we're gonna do this and that's like almost a perfect almost a perfect 90 degree so we're gonna leave that the way that is I think that looks okay So now that I've got that connected, I'm gonna need to build my roundabout. In fact, I don't think I need to build a roundabout. I think we can connect highway pieces to this. So let's rescind what we had originally planned. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do a highway connection. Uh, maybe we'll just connect them up and like do split offs, on and off splits. Yeah. I think that's actually gonna work out a little bit better in my opinion I gotta watch my time I have to start getting getting ready for work in a, in a few hours so yeah what I might do guys is I might pause it here and I'll come back uh, on my days off I do have another video that's being put together already uh, I just uploaded my New Year's Eve uh, shenanigans video with a bunch of friends of mine and uh, I think what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna pause it here. Uh, I'm gonna get some work done offline, and then I'll come back. But this is gonna be a couple days away, so I will see you guys in a little bit.
Okay. We've got power, we've got water. They're in operation, right? You're operating normally. You're operating normally. You're operating normally. Now we just need to wait for the all the traffics to come in. That is a lot of fire. None of our buildings get destroyed because that would be unpleasant. And now we just gotta wait for chippy ships to come in. All right, I'm okay with this. I am totally okay with this. Let's get some, Ooh, look, there's a ship. Where did you come from? Did you come from off map? Oh, you came from over there. Oh. Hey. You came from Springwood. Most excellent. I'm very pleased with you showing up. Thank you very much for patroning my cargo hub. That's very nice of you. And the fleet of little rando cars bombing out. Where are y'all going? Ooh, where are you going? You're going to the eco-friendly company, which is all the way over here. Okay. Which brings me to my next portion. How do I get rail line to here? Because I've got cargo here. Cargo follows this line here. So... What we need to do is we need to bring cargo off of this seaport, bring it in to the, bring it inland, and then what? Let's do you, well, I guess we can go underground. I think it'd be, make it kind of fun, don't you think? Let's split it off at this point here. All right, we're gonna split this off like this and this looks terrible but that's okay because we're gonna sink this guy we're gonna sink this bad boy underground wrong button so there's let's get this level with the ground first and then we're gonna go shift one two three four five six seven eight nine ten because ten is a good round number or something. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to continue the line long like this. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring it back up at some point. So let's let's bring it back up to the ground here and then we'll connect it back up to this. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. And then, what we're going to do, we're going to convert these guys, I think, here. We're going to connect this in, or turn this into a, uh, into an overpass. So we're going to switch this and switch this. And I think, you know what, just so we're not causing any more problems for each other. There we go. That actually looks pretty good. I'm okay with that. That's a little bit better. And now you're connected. Okay. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, the Port of Raving is in operation. And so far, so good. And what, remember what we said at the beginning of the episode, we still have a lot of work to do. So we've got, uh, we've got these two ports. I don't know if they're gonna get busy at all. Um, but you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna let it run. We're gonna play with it a little bit. I'm gonna do something with this crazy freaking curve or something like that. That just looks horrendous. I'll have to fix that in a little while. 
Uh, but I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna monitor this to see how all of this goes and see if it's uh, see if it does what we need it to do. It looks like we've got some external traffic coming in, and we have traffic lights. We don't need traffic lights. Uh, we don't need that line either. We need this guy. We need to turn these off. Turn all of that off. We're gonna allow traffic to pass all the way through. There we go. Uh, and then what we're also going to do is we're going to do this and that. That's what I wanted. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do that. And what we're also going to do just in case is we're going to turn off... I turn all of these off? Uh, we're going to turn those off and then we're going to allow for through traffic here. Sweet. Looks like everything's going swimmingly. The other thing that we need to get sorted is we need... We're going to put this one on hold and let people leave. Or we can wait and let them leave. Or yield. You know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. It looks like almost all of them are being used to a certain extent. We've got a couple trucks coming in and coming out. Got an almost full... Looks like we even have trucks coming in from outside, which isn't terrible. It's not I what I really, really, really wanted, uh, but I'm okay with it. it. This looks good. I want to watch how this road is going. Yeah, that's looking amazing. And I think there was just enough height to get underneath. And that lo it looks glorious. I need to put in one more. I need to put in another pillar. And I'm going to put it... Eh, I'm going to put it right here. That. And we just got to raise it up it up just so it's not peeking through just like that amazing I love it this looks good I'm pretty pleased what do you guys think let me know oh and there's a train coming in oh it's exciting I'm excited are you excited you better be excited I'll be very upset if you're not excited <laughs> and it came from the internal cargo terminal which is amazing that's exactly what I wanted to happen another really good thing I could have done was at this train station over here I could have turned this one into a dual uh, into a dual track and then have the external lines come in uh, separately from the internal line and then have the internal line on its own little track a jigger and it could um, it could move around and do its own thing but I did not plan ahead so we're gonna leave the infrastructure the way it is and hope for the best. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty pleased with how that worked. I am, I'm really looking forward to seeing an increase in traffic flow and all that stuff. Um, I know that this, this episode has been crazy stupid long. A lot of the stuff I'm going to, I'm probably going to be cutting out, probably not this section, but you guys will know that I've cut out a lot of footage. Um, but that's fantastic. I, I like it. I love it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, the bell notification icon. Uh, you should be able to find me on Instagram at RavingLunatic. And don't forget to hit up Notch's little Instagram channel at NotchYYC. And the YYC stands for the city that I live in. I'll let you guys figure that out. And as always, stay warm, stay safe, sanitize the heck out of everything, wear your mask, eat your vegetables, have yourselves a great day.